our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates <coughs> excuse me, the 20th Wednesday in Ordinary Time, and today we remember Saints Asterius, Claudius, Neon, and their companions. The, though the emperors Diocletian and Maximian were for a great part of their reign favorable to the Christians and passed no edicts against them till the latter end, several martyrs suffered in the beginning of their reign, especially in Rome, Gaul, and Britain, and some also in the East. This was owing to but particular occasions or to the humor of certain governors of provinces who acted by virtue of former laws which had never been repealed. So, Asterius, Claudius, and Neon, because they were faithful Christians and would not subject themselves to the worship of the pagan gods, we ask you to please, please pray for us today. So let us begin in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66. If you're following along, I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, my thoughts, my words, what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may, our, may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Up Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east, and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. I rejoiced when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord, and now our feet are standing within your gates, Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Most gracious Father, you gather us from the four corners of the earth through your holy word. Open the closed ears of those who wander, that they may hear your word, which alone brings peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. All the citizens of Shechem and Beth Milo came together and proceeded to make Abimelech the king by the terebinth at the memorial pillar in Shechem. When this was reported to him, Jotham went to the top of Mount Gerizim and, standing there, cried out to them in a loud voice, Hear me, citizens of Shechem, that God may then hear you. Once the trees went to anoint a king over themselves. So he said to the olive tree, reign over us. But the olive tree answered them, must I give up my rich oil, whereby men and gods are honored, and go to wave over the trees? Then the trees said to the fig tree, come, you reign over us. But the fig tree answered them, must I give up my sweetness and my good fruit, 
and go to wave over the trees? Then the trees said to the vine, Come you, and reign over us. But the vine answered them, Must I give up my wine that cheers gods and men, and go to wave over the trees? Then all the trees said to the bu buckthorn, Come, you reign over us. But the buckthorn replied to the trees, If you wish to anoint me king over you in good faith, come and take refuge in my shadow. Otherwise, let fire come from the buckthorn and devour the cedars of Lebanon. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. O oh Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. In your victory, how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart's desire. You refuse not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. For you welcomed him with godly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked life of you. You gave him length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. You made him a blessing forever. You gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. Now, Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips. I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. He said to them, you too go out in my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off and he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first and the first will be last. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our gospel today, I think, kind of shakes us about justice. Because our version of justice is that we should be remunerated for the work we do in accord with the amount of work we do and the amount of effort we put into it. That's what's reflected in the way this, this parable, in today's gospel from Matthew, is written. However, God's version is a little different. It's a little bit different. God is infinitely generous. And he will give the same reward to those who have been faithful to him all their lives as those who come back to him late in life. He loves each and every one of us that much, that he will give us our inheritance in the kingdom of heaven 
but we come to him in truth and in heart. So we may wonder, we may wonder what, what's the use of following his way our entire life if we're going to get the same thing if we come back to him later. Well, here's the rub, my brothers and sisters. Okay? If he called us earlier, he wants us to do his work when he calls us. When we follow him, we should enjoy, in absolute joy, do everything we can to help introduce him to as many people as possible, knowing that those we introduce him to, if they, in truth and in love and in heart, come to him and follow him in sincerity, will get the same reward we do. We shouldn't be upset about that. We should not be upset about that because that reward is so great it surpasses anything we could ever wish for. So it doesn't matter, my brothers and sisters, if we come early or someone comes later. The important thing is to realize that pearl of great that wonderful, wonderful gift that God has waiting for us on the other side. And work to do everything we can on this earth, not only for ourselves, but out of love for every other human being to introduce them to that as well. As God wishes no one, no one to be separated from him, but he does realize that we will make those decisions on our own sometimes and will allow us to do so. It's our job to convince as many as we can of the goodness, the greatness, if you will, of our Lord and what he is waiting for us on the other side. If only we love him, follow him, worship him in truth. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With hearts full of faith, let us turn to the Father and offer him the sacrifice of our prayers. And the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may inspire us to live in persistent faith and confident assurance of God's abiding mercy and love, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of government, that their decisions may advance the common good, fill the hungry, and lift up the lowly, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased, injured, displaced, and for emergency personnel in Maui, that God may bring them consolation and relief, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For students, teachers, and school staff, that they may be blessed with a safe and peaceful transition back to school, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Those who are ill or in distress, that they may experience the gracious care of the Lord in their time of need, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have gone before us in faith and those who will die today, that they may come to enjoy eternal life in God's heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayers and enable us to use the gifts you give us to serve you and one another faithfully. We ask all these things spoken and unspoken through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life.
mystery of this wine, the water. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the benefit of his holy church. Heavenly Father, accept the sacrifice for the salvation of your people. May it empower the witness of your church that those who go astray may be gathered in. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Out of love, you called us to life. You give us our daily bread and the bread of life, and by your protection and assistance, you see to our every need. And so with trust, we commend our day to your fatherly care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice of the Mass will continue with the Eucharistic prayer 4, which is found on page 88 if you're following along. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh. In him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life he has revealed your love to us, he humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross and by rising restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands, lifting his eyes to you, his heavenly Father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. The supper had ended. He took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Together, your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim, your resurrection we celebrate, your returning glory we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, and his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth this sign of our faith in him who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness, upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life. Together, Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you, so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. 
May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, and with saints Asterius, Claudius, Neon, and their companions, whose memory we keep today, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Bless your church throughout the world, grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Your kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity of Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Let's say together the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be prodded from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Blood of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift that I receive bring me healing and strength now and forever. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the banquet of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray. 
Almighty God, your gospel reaches to the ends of the earth, and those who receive it are gathered into your kingdom. For us who have shared your table and have been grafted to your holy vine, may it always be good news indeed. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, for the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Show me now a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. My master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today. I pray that you can join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time, and sun Saturday at 5 p.m., Sunday at 9 a.m., full Central Daylight Time for the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remain in a state of grace. Fight evil wherever you find it. Spread joy wherever you go. And please stay cool today during this heat wave. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest.